Okay, we're going to use Craft within Sketch 3 to duplicate and then suck in some images from a folder. Um, so I've got nine images here. They're all the same proportions and the same size, but the same proportions um, is ideal for this sort of duplication role. Now I'm going to go to Sketch 3. I open it up. I've already installed the Craft Envision uh, craft panels at the side and we're going to now duplicate so first of all we're going to make an artboard so I go down to the insert menu in the top left artboard and what I will do is I will go to the left the sorry the right where it's got responsive design and insert um, just a desktop artboard now I'm going to create a shape on here you need to create a shape so I go to rectangle shape and I will just hold the uh, shift key and drag this shape out. Right, so there's my first shape on here. It's a square image because I constrained it. Now what I wanna do is duplicate it. So if I go up to the top in the craft panels on the right, and I can just say duplicate, but also I can say, it says inside a selection if you wanna duplicate that. But first we'll just do, I'd say a Pacific count. Now I want to have uh, vertical and horizontal because I've got nine images and I'm going to have three and three. So in here I'll type uh, three uh, for uh, rows and columns. Now I need to space them so I'll just pick 40 but you would work it out so it fits in with your design. And once I've done that I can click duplicate. Now they're all duplicated so uh, the next thing I'll do is just close that panel down up here. I'll just select all these and I'll move it until it's in the middle um, of here. Now I've got them all selected, so the next thing I'll do is the second uh, panel down, um, which is the photos, so if you can click on that to open it up. You can use folder, you can use, put it in Dropbox, you can also so use Unsplashed or the web. Now what I'll do is do folder, so I need to navigate to where my folder is on my desktop, I've selected that, I say open, and once I've got that uh, path defined, I click place and it will insert all those images in there. So no matter how many images, you know, it will just bring them in and fill those boxes. So that's a really quick way of doing that. Now we'll look at another one. Maybe if we go to click on Unsplashed, um, it's got different categories it can insert in there. So if we go say drink and place photos, this might take a little bit of time because it's bringing it in from the internet. It's got to go and search on the Unsplash website and bring in those images. Again, if you wanted to change those images for um, something else, we go for fashion maybe and place. And it'll come up and again, insert those photos in there. Okay, right. So um, the other thing we can do if we sort of delete that okay we'll just see how the duplicate panel works in the craft app panels what I will do is just create a quick shape I go to the insert and I'll go for the star I hold the shift key I drag it out uh, maybe give it a color and I'll just got that on there right now I want to duplicate this so come up here now um, I will have inside selection and I've got vertical horizontal and I need to have a bit of a gap, so I'll probably say something like 20 pixels by 20 pixels. And this is the gutter around the edges. Um, you would have worked all this out so it fits. And I will now click duplicate. Right, it's created some. Now, you'll notice over here, it's got the group layer. It's got all the individual items. And also, it's got the duplicate. Um, now, the duplicate um, is important because that's how um, you can duplicate more on the selection. So you need to have that selected. And if I drag this out the selection, it will just duplicate more items. Um, if you need to scale it, I click on the actual group uh, folder and hold shift key and bring it in, that will, will scale it. But if you want to add more items, then, then you would um, drag out the selection again. Okay, this time from the Craft Duplicate panel, we're going to go for Inside Selection. Um, but first, we need to set up 
something to duplicate. So I will go over, I've already got an artboard. I will put in just an ordinary rectangle. Again, I'm gonna hold the, uh, lost it there. Okay, the, hold the shift key, drag that out. Right, once I've got that, I'm going to go into the photos in the craft panel. And um, this is in Unsplash, I'll search for dogs. I'll pick a random picture of one dog. Uh, and again, you can change it for another dog. Just keep on pressing until you find the one you want. Once I've got that, I will go back to the duplicate panel. Uh, I've still got it selected. I'll do vertical and horizontal. And this is where you set the gutter. I'll set it 15 by 15. That's the gap around. And what I will do is it's on inside selection, 15, 15, horizontal, vertical checked, and I'll click duplicate. There'll be a bit of time, it'll suck it in. This is where it's bringing it down from the Unsplash site. Bearing in mind, you need to have an internet connection for this to work. And what you'll find is it creates a group, but also it has um, a, a, a layer that that's a duplicate. And that's what you need to have selected if you want to drag out and have it duplicate even more. So I've got that selected. And when I drag out the selection now, like that, it will then um, create more images and bring those in. So as you drag the selection out, it, it, it will do that and create all those, right? Now say if I wanted to, um, I'll just bring that in a little bit there and bring it in a little bit there so it has that. And say for example, if I wanted to scale that, I would click on the group and then maybe hold the shift key and then bring it in. 